hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking to you about wardrobe essentials and how to find them so someone asked me not too long ago um to do a video on how to find a wardrobe essential how to know if something's wardrobe essential so i thought i'd give you a couple of tips and actually take you through what i would class as my wardrobe essentials and prints and stuff to look out for so my first top tip is when you think about your wardrobe essentials you have to really think about right so what is it that i love what is it that i am always drawn to and what is it that i always wear those are kind of things to look at when you're looking at what your wardrobe essentials are then when it comes to actually shopping and buying wardrobe essentials you have to kind of think right say you find a black dress you see this black dress and it's really nice and you really like it but you're like right i'm only sticking to wardrobe essentials what is this a wardrobe essential so you want to kind of look out for a few things you want to think about is it a trend piece so is it a piece that's just kind of on trend now and not probably not going to go much further um in terms of that you want to think about the shape the style of the dress if it's a shift dress it's most likely going to be on trend all the time because it's a classic style if it's a puff prom dress maybe not i'm not saying pop prom dress in terms of terms of it actually being a prom dress but a prom dress style it might not be something that will last a long time if you see the dress and you're like oh it's a kind of a baby doll oversized kind of um what's the word smock style most likely a smock style dress will probably be on trend for a while those kind of loose fitting dresses always seem to be around um you know when you think about dresses in general you you see like your tight dresses which are always a thing but not everyone likes a tight dress i don't really like a tight dress but then then you get the other scale which is the looser style dresses which are always there so it's really important just to think about the style of the item and how much longevity you think it will have um sometimes you can't gauge it sometimes you just really like something and you want to buy it but that is kind of the first thing to look at is is it a trend piece and will it last the next one is is it an item that you can incorporate into your wardrobe really easily and is it an item that you see yourself wearing for years to come now it's hard to know because sometimes i even buy things that i don't even know if i'm going to wear for a long time so you want to visualize right it's summer now so am i going to wear this in winter am i going to wear this in autumn am i going to wear this in spring am i going to want to wear this next summer you really want to think about how many times you can wear it and how long you can wear it for so one of the things i always think about is sometimes you will have items that are just for summer and that is okay and you will have items that are just for winter like jumpers and you'll have dresses for summer etc but i always try to think right i really want this dress now and it's winter how can i wear it now and still wear it in spring and summer and it still be a style that i really like um, the style bit is kind of hard because you just don't really know but I always think right so if I've got this like printed dress it's black the base of the dress is black I know that I can wear that with tights now with a jumper over the top if I wanted to but also when summer comes around I can wear bare legs so you just want to think about that same with same goes for like trousers for example if you see a pair of bright pink trousers it's currently winter will you wear them now and will you wear them in summer so it's just a kind of case of like really thinking about the amount of wear you can get out of an item and that's what makes it a classic piece and a, a piece that you're always always going to go for you just want to make sure that everything you're purchasing and everything that you want and everything that is a classic piece is something that you know that you're going to get the wear out of and that's essentially what a classic piece is an item you wear time and time again that's classic to you and your wardrobe the pieces that are classic in my wardrobe won't be the pieces that are classic in your wardrobe everyone's wardrobe is different and i think it is really just thinking about the amount of wear you're going to get out of an item and a piece that will last and last and last the last thing i want to mention before i get into the items that i have to show you is that when you're looking for an item really think about how many years you've seen it around so for instance a blazer 
is always, always, always going to be around. It's always going to be a trend because it's essentially a work piece. It's a workwear piece that has been around for ages and people will continually buy them because it's a smart piece you can wear to work. And a lot of people work in offices, so companies will not stop making them because people will always buy them. And same goes for jeans or um, white t-shirts or items that are always always sold those are like your ultimate classic pieces the pieces that you will always always know will always be there essentially your essentials so yeah it's just thinking about it really think about the item and how much wear it has i'm now going to show you the pieces behind me that i pulled out from my wardrobe that i would class as my classic essential pieces pieces that i always go for pieces i will continually go for and pieces that i think are worth investing in um and hopefully this will help you if you're a little bit stuck so first up we have jeans now you all know i'm a lover of jeans and you all know that i can't stop raving enough about jeans but Jeans are a really good thing to invest in and spend money on. You don't have to spend loads of money on jeans, but jeans are a really good thing to have in your wardrobe because jeans are always there. Like, you can buy jeans all the time. You can wear jeans all the time. It's always a thing. They, they're a year-round thing. And I love them because I just feel comfortable in them. You may not like jeans, and that's okay. But if you do like jeans and you're a fan of jeans, definitely invest in a good few pairs, especially if you wear them a lot. Now, I just wanted to quickly show you a couple of styles that I really like. Um, these are a mum style jean. Mum jeans are actually a really good item to invest in because they are one of those pieces that seems to come around all the time. They're kind of like essentially quite 90s, but now everyone's wearing them. And they're actually quite nice because they're more of a tapered fit. So they fit quite loose, but they're also quite fitted, which I think is really nice style to go for. Next, we have a pair of straight jeans. These are the Topshop Editor jeans. You know I love these. Sorry about how crease they are. Um, I love a straight jean. I think they're really flattering and I think they're flattering for many different shapes, but also they're not for everyone. Um, I really like them. I think they're a really good piece to, um, kind of give your outfits quite a on-trend look. They may not be on trend next year, but I still love them and I know that they're a piece that I will wear a lot. So I have invested in many pairs of straight jeans. I love them. And then my final pair are the dad jeans from Chop Shop, which are more of a wide leg. These are a bit more of a fashion jean and I think it's okay to invest in fashion jeans sometimes or fashion pieces because no one wants to stick to the same things all the time. You want to change it up. Um, I love these. I think they're really cool. They may not be in fashion a year down the line but they're a piece that I think I will still get wear out of because I love my jeans and um, who doesn't love a little bit of a wide leg, you know? I love it. Next, we have blazers and as I mentioned before blazers are an item that are available all the time and will probably continue to be a thing all the time. Even if they're not necessarily an on trend piece you will always be able to get wear out of them and that's what I love the most. These are two from Topshop. I love Topshop blazers. They're amazing and they're not always the cheapest but they do last and they are usually good, quite good quality so I highly recommend but blazers are great because you can get them in so many different shades. You don't have to stick to your classic black. You can go for a mint green or a yellow you can go for like a bright pink and that's what i think is quite nice when it comes to blazers you could have your classic ones like your classic neutral ones that um you can wear time and time again and then you can inject a bit of color by buying a few bright ones which you might not wear all the time it might not necessarily be classic to you but the style is classic and you still have your classic colors which i think is important when you're buying classic pieces you want to know that you have your classic colors and you also have your colors that are like when you want to be a bit more fashiony or when you want something a bit different so yes something to note when you're buying pieces like this you can still buy pieces that you won't wear all the time but still have your classic colors as a backup so i want to show you a couple of dresses that i think are kind of good styles to have in your wardrobe and pieces that i always tend to go back to because i just love these styles so first up we've got the smock style you can't really see this sorry it's black and didn't do this didn't plan this very well um, a smock dress has, the smock dress has been around for ages and um, it's a really nice way to wear a dress 
and not feel like uncomfortable because they're so loose. I love them. I actually think they're quite a flattering dress, especially in the summer because you can wear them and you can just have bare legs and it's really cute. Your arms are kind of the tops of your arms are covered unless you get one that's sleeveless. Um, and you can get them in midi length and mini length, which I think is really nice because sometimes you don't want your legs out. Sometimes you kind of just want to shave the half half your leg and leave the rest you know um but yeah i think smock dresses are a really really good way to go if you're ever stuck with a dress style or you're not sure or you want something that you know you'll be comfortable in for the whole of summer a smock dress is always a good way to go this one is another black one sorry but this is more of a midi length smock dress can't really show you very well um but this one again really nice and it's got long sleeves so you're actually covering your arms which is great if you're not a fan of your arms um you know it's still a lovely style dress and this dress again you could probably get this dress in so many different shops in slightly different styles because a black smock dress is such a classic kind of piece and a style and this style is huge at the moment so it makes sense why you would buy into them but again smock dresses are great and hide any lumps and bumps which is great if you've eaten too much as well and then my last dress to show you is just a classic wrap style dress now i only recently probably last summer got into the wrap style dress i just found it and i wasn't sure if it would suit me because i've got quite a flat chest in grand scheme of things i haven't really got that much boobage but it actually works and I think in my head I always thought that you kind of needed boobs to fill a wrap dress but actually you don't and I think it's all just about finding one that cinches you in at the right areas and flatters you the best. Um, I really like this one because it's a nice wrap style but it's got really cute sleeves um, and you know the, the wrap in the middle flows at the bottom and I think that's what's quite nice with wrap dresses. They're always kind of a thing. I don't know why but they're just a classic style and if you're going to buy into a wrap dress then I would highly recommend doing it because I actually have one from last summer and I can't wait to wear. Um, and they're still on trend, so so here for that. Next is trousers. So trousers, again, like blazers, are always, always going to be a thing because they're smart and there's always going to be a need for smart office wear. Um, so trousers are great to invest in, especially if you see a pair that you really like the style of or the shape or the cuts. It's great to kind of invest in more trousers like that. I've got two pairs just to show you as an example. Um, these ones here are more of a peg leg style, so they fit a little bit looser, which is nice if you want something not too tight, especially if you're sat in an office all day. There's nothing worse than being uncomfortable. Um, but I really like this style. I wouldn't necessarily say it is a classic style, um, I think it's becoming more of a classic style, but in like workwear terms, I don't think it's necessarily a style people go for as much. But it's a style that I think is worth investing in if you are a trouser lover. And trousers are literally always on trend. I used to own a pair of black tie waist trousers years ago, probably what when I was in college, so that was about five or six, five or six years ago. They're still on trend now. Like, honestly, trousers are a great item to buy into. And these ones are just a kind of cigarette style trouser, check ones. Another one that you, is always good to go for, checks are great. Checks are always on trend. I don't know when they're not. Next, we have the cream knits. Now, I love a cream knit. Literally one of my favourite winter pieces. Love them so much. Um, and I think they're always a really good thing to invest in, especially because you're always going to need a jumper when winter rolls around. And if you're a cream jumper fan like me, you're always going to wear it so it's worth investing in if you're a black jumper girl buy black jumpers if you're a pink jumper girl go for pink jumpers obviously i'm just a fan of cream knits but if you like a certain color like pink and you wear pink every single year buy yourself a, an array of pink jumpers um but this first one is just a classic style round neck with the kind of oversized like knit style um i didn't explain that very well <laughs> But this is a really good style to go for if you're ever stuck with like what jumper style you should go for that's going to last. Oversized knit, always a good way to go. The other style would be a roll neck. Roll neck knits, again, always, always come back into style because they keep your neck warm. And who doesn't love a warm neck? I mean, I hate being cold, so I love them. <laughs> My last classic piece to show you is the white tee. I think I've spoken about this before, but I love a white tee. I think it's great. Such a classic piece into your wardrobe and, you know, 
you can't beat it it's amazing so before i end this video i just wanted to quickly talk to you about a couple of prints that i think are worth investing in and worth you know spending your money on um first one we've got leopard print i have one leopard print item in my wardrobe and these are the trousers um these trousers i've had for years love them i always get them out when leopard print becomes more of a thing because they're great then we've got stripes stripes are always always a thing this t-shirt i've had for years love it um you can't go wrong with stripes such a classic kind of print then we've got check this is a check jumper i didn't think i'd ever own a check jumper but check is again a really good classic classic print and you just can't beat it they're just such a good like print to go for then we've got polka dots um polka dots is huge this year and polka dots is just you can't beat it i literally anytime i see something polka dot i'm like i need that in my wardrobe now right now so yeah love a polka dot this is great can't get enough of it and my last one is floral print this isn't the best example because i don't have any floral print dresses on me because they're all down in my storage cupboard but um this is the closest thing i've got it's kind of floral with a bit of polka dot it's like two in one can't beat that can you floral prints are just like uh, like a classic every every single spring summer like you can't go wrong with a floral print this year i think floral prints are going to be quite big so keep your eyes peeled for the good florals out in the shops because i think there's going to be quite a few so that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this do let me know what your favorite kind of piece was if i mentioned anything that you liked also let me know if this was of use to you guys because i will continue to do videos like this if you find it useful and of course do hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already because i'd love to see you again and i'll catch you all in my next video bye guys